Keep this thought handy when you feel a fit of rage coming on. It isn't manly to be enraged. Rather, gentleness and civility are more human, and therefore manlier. A real man doesn't give way to anger and discontent, and such a person has strength, courage and endurance, unlike the angry and complaining. The nearer a man comes to a calm mind, the closer he is to strength. On any given day, there are so many things that could make you angry. Your bus could be late, your car might not start, maybe there's traffic. Nowadays, you might even get angry because you only got two inches of cream on your Starbucks coffee when you asked for three. Whatever it is, it leaves you stressed, annoyed, and unable to think clearly. When you've cooled down, you brush it off and tell yourself that it's natural to get angry. But just because it's natural to get angry doesn't mean that it's good. Anger is a temporary madness. Marcus Aurelius constantly reminded himself how much more harmful the consequences of anger are compared to the circumstances that caused the anger. Having an attitude like this will make it much easier to be unwaveringly calm. It's psychologically proven that yelling will give you a brief sense of relief, but that isn't what's important. What is important is whether the problem is fixed or whether you're left in the same situation that you are before you got angry. Arguing with a rude person won't fix anything it will just give them a second chance to be more rude. Being passive-aggressive to a late bus driver won't get you to your location any faster. He or she will just simply dislike you. Seneca reminds us to reject straight away the first incentives to anger, to resist its very beginnings, and to take care not to be betrayed into it. For once it begins to carry us away, it is hard to get back again into a healthy condition, because reason goes for nothing when one's passion has been admitted to the mind and has by her own free will been given a certain authority, it will for the future do as much as it chooses, not only as much as you will allow it. The enemy, I repeat, must be met and driven back at the outermost frontier line, for when he has once entered the city and passed its gates, he will not allow his prisoners to set bounds to his victory. Epictetus tells us that our feelings are choices. Men are disturbed not by things, but by the view which they take of them. You can choose anger over calm. You can choose fear over courage. You can choose misery over joy. It is within your power to change your emotions. Cognitive behavioural therapy is a modern psychological therapy based upon this premise. CBT looks at the links between our thoughts, emotions and behaviours. It states that past experiences affect the way we think. The way we think affects our feelings, which affects our behaviours, which affects the way that we think. This diagram illustrates it perfectly. CBT lets us break these cycles of negative thinking by letting us think differently and then act differently. Both of these things will have a huge effect on the way that we feel. If you want to learn more about this, you can head to simplestoicism.com forward slash anxiety where I have a course that combines modern psychology with ancient stoicism to make an, the ultimate anxiety buster. Every time that you feel an intense emotion, you must ask yourself, is this a productive emotion? Which emotion will help you change the circumstance to benefit the world most? You must also remember the dichotomy of control. You must stop wasting your time getting angry at things that are completely and utterly indifferent to your feelings. Stop thinking that feeling emotions or objects or situations are going to change anything. A metaphor that Ryan Holiday uses is that getting angry is like taking poison and then expecting the other person to die. You're not helping anything by getting angry. Every, situ Every situation is made better by a cool head. The simple idea has immense value and will challenge you time and time again throughout your life. If you ever find yourself being consumed by your emotions, go to simplestoicism.com forward slash free, where I've got a free course giving the four stoic concepts that are designed to make you mentally stable. On top of that, for a limited time only, I'm giving you a the perfect stoic morning routine so that you can start each day off with a bang.